And, and the descent of the child, what, what was the motivation behind that one? I mean, I, 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 again, I think that's a really great book because yeah. it, you, you, like, you know, all the time the, the, the evolution that you read in schools is from the male adult point of yes, view. Yes, that's right. And you've covered it from the female point of view yeah. and now from the child point of view. And, yeah. I, and I thought that was a revelation to, to, yeah, to was, think of it from that. It was, it was one that I felt I'd shortchanged. I mean, I'd, I'd come in on the woman's side, but I, I hadn't given enough attention to the child's side of the there are, there were one or two books which had tried to look at things that way, but they were, you know, sort of decades old and people had forgotten them and nobody had ever seen it on more. So I picked up that approach and said, well, supposing you look at it from here, because after all, if, if the baby doesn't survive, nobody survives. Absolutely, and the, the, the percentage deaths per year is going to be much higher to younger, yeah. younger age, I wouldn't and the, the business of the fat in the baby, like it's shown very well yeah. in that documentary, is a yeah. really key point, isn't it? It is a key point. Okay, and then the the aquatic ape hypothesis, which was your last book. Yes. Um, from reading, you know, your you know, the, the, the preamble to the book, that presumably that was kind of a response to scientific critique of earlier books. Yes. By then, I felt well, they've had long enough now. And it's no good them pretending that it hasn't happened or that they haven't heard of it. They're obviously being made a bit uncomfortable by it. And if they had any anything that would sort of slam it down, you would think by now, I mean, my, my books were selling all right. If anybody had written a, a popular book of the same, you know, addressed to the same market, saying, this is why the aquatic ape is rubbish. I mean, we could have to think of a better title than that. But, I mean, it would have sold at least as well as my books were selling. Mm -hmm. And it might have sold better because all the professors would have recommended it, mm -hmm. you know, when they're students, say, why can't we believe it? Or go away and read so-and-so. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, I got the impression there were there were programs on the television. There was a whole series called Controversy or Controversy, I'll be right. But and it dealt with a lot of things which were, I mean, science was arguing about. This would have seemed the perfect one, <clears throat> but it never it never happened. I mean, they had von Daniken. They made a film about Don Danigan because it was so easy to prove why it's talking rubbish. Mm. And it must have occurred to them, well, we could make a, a film about Morgan, explain why she's talking rubbish. When they come down to do it, they can't. Mm. And, and you, you can't... So that... Um, I was convinced, quite convinced, for the, for the first time, I mean, that they haven't got an answer. And uh, I thought, uh, and also, of course, by then I'd been on the internet and I'd had a chance to hear what they were saying and I'd had ding-dong battles, bitter battles. I mean, I'd been called everything. It was not only that they were trying to prove I was wrong, they were trying to prove I was weaselly and malicious and deliberately lying and all the rest and of who, it. Who were the people that were writing this? I mean, were these actual, because I mean, when I first got onto the science yeah. anthropology, yeah. forums. I was under the illusion that a lot of the people writing there were professors and doctors, but yeah. in fact a lot of them are lay people, aren't they? A lot of them are lay people. But what, did you actually get sort of nasty, or whatever, you know, did, you know, condescending sort of uh, letters from actual official people? With the um, not condescending, but I did have some professors who thought, well, I mean, this kind of thing is misleading the young. I would just step into there and explain to them why she's wrong. And then I would answer, and it didn't seem to be so easy to know why I was wrong, so that some of them were actual professors and big names in the field. Are, are you ever, did, did you keep any of those responses? Did you print them off at all? 
No, I didn't get much. Because that would make a great book, I think. You know, yeah. that, would, that would be a great book yeah. in a few years when it's all yeah. accepted. Well, hopefully yeah. it will be all accepted. I mean, that would make a great... They, they, they... I mean, one sort of line was, uh, this woman doesn't realise that none of us believe in her, you know, so they kept on saying, he doesn't really <laughs> trying to explain to me all the weights of the numbers of people that don't believe. I said, yes, but you don't do science by counting heads. That's not kind of a lecture. Said, yes, you've you got to tell me why I'm wrong. And uh, th they kept on putting arguments up, which was supposed to prove I was wrong, and I would answer them and say, but this doesn't prove I'm wrong. And sometimes they would get ratty. And um, I mean, sometimes on, on email rather than on a news group, I would get fierce four-letter word things. And um, it turned me to show I believe. But uh, by this year, the tone has definitely changed. It is, I mean, th th they know that I'm a maverick and, and in a minority. But they no longer treat me as, as as a fool, and they no longer assume that I'm ignorant of the things that are so clear to them. I've made it clear that I, I know the things that they know, and I still don't think that they're valid evidence against it. And I still don't think they've got the answer. And of course, when um, Tobias said the Savannah theory is dead, there was a tremendous rumpus about that because um, th they they were trying to make out that I was saying he had accepted the aquatic theory. I'd never said that. I published a letter which I got from Chris Knight who had been present at the meeting just as I got it. And I mean Chris Knight had sort of thought that he was almost saying that, but uh, again, there was nothing in his letter that said he'd accepted the aquatic theory, merely that he said the Savannah theory was dead. But they tried all shapes to, to prove that um, I was deliberately and maliciously distorting what, what Tobias had said. But Tobias wrote himself a letter to the internet and explained what he had said. But I mean, li listening to him on that yeah. program, there, he yeah. does seem very warm to the idea. He, he is I very mean, warm. I mean, there's no, there's yeah. not, there's, it's not just dismissing the old theory, is it? He's not scratching around thinking, no. what next? He is saying, well, he is saying, we need a new paradigm, and of course, a lot of them will say, yes, we do need a new paradigm, paradigm, and, uh, and we've got an open mind to anything except that. Yes, but he right. says, you've got a, nothing can be ruled out, says Tobias. And that's when they have tried to rule out. Yes, that's that. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> just just repackage it because it's called the uh, what do they call it now? The, uh, what's, the what's the term they use? Not the Savannah theory, but the uh, mosaic theory. Mosaic theory. So, yes. so, uh, so you you've now written all the, these books, and um, and they're all very scientific. I think you know, yeah. obviously, a lot of the scientific world might not see it that way. Um, well, they've got more scientific as the years go by, if it's only because I, I had on the internet the charge that you don't give your references. When you do, you only give the, the, the references to the books, and you do this on purpose so that anybody trying to find out where you're lying has got to plow through the whole book. You know, real scientists give page numbers, so in the last one, I give page numbers. <laughs> But yeah, I remember reading that. But even your early work is referenced. I mean, it might not have page numbers, but no. it's very well. I, I told them what I'd been reading, and uh, I mean, I, I I don't see the point in in filling up pages and pages of basic stuff you've read just to show you've read it. Mm. But I always give anything that's unusual or controversial or likely to be disputed. I always say, well, this is who said it, and so what I got from. Mm. 